Week six, I'm here with superstar guard Nick Tomsick, the one and only, on the hot seat. What just happened, man? Well, we had a couple guys get ejected, a sprained ankle, so they had three players so they had to stop the game. What did you think of the referees this game? The rest were better. Not because we won by 40, but they were better. Like All right. They, it, they were bad sometimes, but at least it was even on both ends. Okay. Uh, well, we'll get started with the hot seat. I know you're a big basketball shoe fan. Um, I know you got like a million pairs. Every game you have a different pair on. I'm just curious, what, what's your favorite basketball shoe of all time? My favorite basketball shoe? Uh, the Kevin Durant 4s or 5s. Okay. Was that when he was with the T-Wolves? Or was that? Oh, Kevin Durant. My bad. I just said, I just said Kevin Garnett. No, Kevin Durant. Sorry. Okay. What's the best advice you ever got from a coach or anybody, your parents, or whatever? Don't worry about the things that you can't control. So just whether or not you're getting playing time or anything, you can't control that. You can only control what you can control. So that's the only thing you should worry about. Good advice. What's your most memorable sports moment? Yeah, I know you played some college ball, so or it could be high school. <laughs> Championship. No. There, there's been a, there's been a lot. Uh, my junior year of college at Fort Lewis, I had a couple buzzer beaters. Um, it was like back to back to back games. That was probably my most memorable moment. If you win a U-Hoop championship, would that be number one? Of course, of course, Donald. Okay. If you won the lottery tomorrow, what would you do with the, all the money? I'd give it to Fred. Photo bomb, baby. I'd give it to Fred. You have it to Fred. I'm down with and that. the other half like to Calvin. That, <laughs> what would you do? Um, I probably have to hook my mom and dad up with whatever they wanted. Maybe go on a nice little vacation. Oh no, and then I think of the rest from there. Okay. What's um? If you can meet one person. Who would it be? If I can meet one person. All right, I'm gonna do a little better in born. <laughs> um. Hey, don't listen to nothing they got to say. The Splash Brothers are all right, but try 55. We're gonna win the whole hey, thing. Get hey, him out of here. Hey, hey. All right, well, let's get to the U-Hoops questions. Travis has to come to the game when they play good teams, though. He only comes when they play, like, ball out or Javon's team or something, but he wasn't there when we played last time, but he has everything to talk about. That's true. That's true. Okay, we'll start with the most with the U-Hoops questions. Who's the most underrated player in U-Hoops right now? Underrated? I mean, I could go with Calvin from our team. He does a lot of stuff with rebounding, things that you don't really see a lot. I mean, he probably takes three or four charges a game. And I mean, that's not something that shows up in a stat sheet, but it, he does a lot for us. What's the most overrated team and overrated player in Europe? Overrated team? I mean, I probably have to go with Cali boys, even though they did beat us. We had four players, but we'll see, we'll see down the stretch if they can keep it together or not. Hardest player for you to guard? Since everybody calls you the hardest player to guard, who's the hardest player for you to guard? Good question. Um, you know, I like Brad Carroll's game a lot. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go either Brad or, of course, Fred. But Fred's on my team, so I can't really say that. Okay. Last question: Worst player in U hoops? Oh, it's not even close. If it's not Brett, if it's not Brett Burnbaum, it's definitely Carmelo. You heard it here first. All right, thanks, Nick. We appreciate it. Splash Brothers going all the way? Yeah, of course.